here today with Pam Nesbitt from Watson Health, and we're going to talk about uh, some of your applications. But first, maybe tell us a little bit about your role with Watson Health. Yes, my, my role is Chief Architect for a uh, partnership that we have with Medtronic, and they were one of our key founding partners for Watson Health. Okay. Um, they are a very large uh, manufacturer of devices to monitor health. Uh, they have a very large cardiac division. Uh, we're working with their diabetes division. And they make a number of different devices for uh, diabetes management. Um, some of them are insulin pumps, and uh, some are continuous glucose monitors, which means that it's measuring your blood sugar, but it's not injecting insulin automatically. You make a des decision yourself whether to okay. in inject it. So you still have the human in the loop. You're providing them with the information yes. to make a better decision about right. it. Okay. Watson Health is focused on trying to help fix some of the world's most pressing health problems. And mm -hmm. diabetes, in my humble opinion, is one of those uh, really urgent issues. Yep. There are over 30 million people in America only that have diabetes, and over 90 million that have prediabetes. And many of them don't even know. In other countries, it's going to double or triple in the next 25 years. Okay, so we've got a hardware device, and what's the... Um the Watson value add or the, the AI part of it? The AI part of it, uh, there are uh, several. Um, so basically we take this data mm -hmm. that's coming in and we analyze it and we do uh, pattern mining and correlations and predictions and generate um, insights and predictions that help them to manage their condition. And we push those out to a mobile application that they have on their phone. Okay. And how... Is this continuous? It is continuous. Mm, tell me how the person actually uses it. So they have a, um, the continuous glucose monitor is attached to some part of them, usually their stomach, mm -hmm. and it's measuring interstitial uh, blood sugar, which is converted to blood sugar or an approximation thereof. That's sent to, um, to CareLink at Medtronic, and then it's sent to the Watson Health Cloud, where it's ingested by our back-end analytics system, which is comprised of uh, some software, including Streams, IBM Streams, which is a real-time streaming uh, analytics platform. Um, and all of that data is held in memory. And um, as data comes in, it looks at all of the sort of corpus of data that's been accumulated for this patient and generates for each and every patient individualized insights and predictions and data about how they're managing their condition so that they can improve it. Okay. And it pushes those out to the mobile phone. Is the push like event driven or is that uh, it is, time driven? It, actually, How that's is a it? very good question. So there are a couple of different things. So one is we've got the data coming in every five minutes. And as we okay. do, or the secondary display, we're showing that data. So they can kind of just see the timeline. Then we're doing roll ups so they can see over a period of time, over an hour, over a day, over a mm -hmm. week. How, how have they been performing blood sugar-wise? Have they stayed in range? How many times have they had excursions outside of range? And as a result of that, they can see patterns of when they're doing well and when they're not. But it goes further. So meanwhile, in the background, there are triggers that come in, which are things that they're doing. Um, they yeah. eat something. Uh, they do some exercise. They do a variety of other things. And each time those triggers come in, even time of day, we go and we look at all of the data we have for them about what they were doing at that same time or when they were doing that thing before, how their blood sugar was performing. And as a result of that, we can see patterns over time. And so we push out insights about those saying, you know, this time last week, you were doing worse than you are now. Or okay. every, every day at this time, the following has happened. Or last time you did this, this happened. Or the last seven times you did this, this happened. And maybe you should think about doing something else. And we give both glycemic insights, which are typically related to blood sugar and bolus events. And then we also give motivational insights, which are when we see patterns of behavior that are really good, we say, hey, you did something really good. And here's what. Okay. And then the last thing is predictions. Sorry, I kind of went off. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Tell me about the predictions. Um, so this is a new thing in 3.0, which we just released in December. Um, and we are, this is uh, new in the marketplace. Uh, which is we can predict up to four hours ahead that they're going to have a hypoglycemic event, which means going low, which is a very bad thing for yep. a person with diabetes. So we can tell them with, with fair accuracy, in fact, very good accuracy, that the likelihood that they're going to go low is high, medium, or low, and then they can choose to take action. That a person with diabetes typically cares for themselves mostly, and their visits to the doctor are very infrequent. 
Um, and as a result of that, they've had historically to log everything in a diary. And they not only had to log it, they had to remember when they did it, how much they did it, etc. Um, so the, the use of a mobile application, which in many cases can pick up this information from a variety of wearables, um, or they can log it themselves, um, is amazing because of the reduction in time and effort that it takes for them. I like that um, the whole scenario. It, yeah. It's giving you a platform instead of your notebook. Yeah. But it's one that can, at some point, uh, you get, I don't know if you think of it as interactive, but by providing that feedback, your notebook can never do that. Yes, right? exactly. And so <laughs> it creates a new set of behaviors that should be um, a virtuous cycle for someone with diabetes. Right. And you can go back in time and you can see how you did three months ago. Yeah. Um, and you can see improvement over time. That's, that's, that's a really amazing thing. Because I don't know, I'm I'm a type A. I want to know when I do well. I want to do when I did better. I want to improve constantly, and that's the kind of feedback that you can get. And not only that, it's improving your health. Better than gamification. Yes. 